So you'd like to emulate the look and color grading of your favorite film. No problem. I'm going to show you how to do it with DaVinci Resolve 17 super quickly, super fast. Let's get started. So how do you do it? It's actually extremely fairly simple. You're going to be really surprised. But we're going to need two things. First, DaVinci Resolve and two, a screenshot of the film you want to emulate. So there's actually a website called Film Grab. And as you can see, it has literally just still frames and still grabs from any movie. Oh, ads. Get out of the screen. It literally has <laughs> still frames and still grabs from pretty much any movie you can think of. So all you need to do is type in any move that you want, or you can literally just search and see something that you like. So this one looks good. Never seen that before. Uh, of course, you have the Joker here. I'm going to grab that. And I think, and this one here, true stories. Okay, so all you need to do is find a frame that you like. This one looks cool. Save the image anywhere that you want. I'm going to save mine. I'm going to do the exact same with Joker and also with true stories. Then go to DaVinci Resolve and just drag them in. So right now, as you can see, I've got my video clip here and I also have the still frames. Now, this is very important. The next step is going to be crucial. There's also a few more still frames I've grabbed online and some more footage. So now navigate to the bottom where it says color click onto the color page so this is the video that i'm using and i want to emulate the look from joker so how do i do that simple all you need to do is click onto the video you want to emulate hold down control click onto the video you want to emulate then right click and find where it says shot match to this clip and essentially DaVinci Resolve is going to use its giant brain in order to try and match the colors as best as it can it may take a little bit of time and bang as you can see straight away we have literally the joker look i'm going to show you side by side so <laughs> it's not necessarily perfect but it's really pretty close it's very very close in fact of my image i think all i need to do is desaturate the yellows ever so slightly there we go and just like that we are extremely close now why this is pretty impressive and very amazing is the fact that it's actually added it onto a node and I've spoken about this before, but the fact that it's added onto the nodes gives you so much more control and parameters. So say, for example, if we wanted to dial down the effect, we can do that. How can we do that? Navigate towards the key in tab in DaVinci Resolve. So that is this tab here. If you see, it says key output, and this essentially works like an opacity slider. So if I decrease this, you can see in real time that it's affecting the image and it's getting rid of the look. And on the inverse, if I increase it, you can see it's pushing back the look. This is extremely impressive. Not only this, but you can create new nodes and correct it to get more of a refined and more of a close match. This works for literally any image. So say for example, this old video of me here, and I'm just standing on the phone, looking, looking mighty sensational. My say so myself, looking like, who's that chocolate man? Yeah. Okay. So all you need to do, click onto the image that you want to emulate this image here, right click, shot match this clip, bang. Just like that. This is the clip that I want to match to. This is the clip that I now have. And it's actually pretty close. It's actually pretty close. I want to try another night scene. Say, for example, I want to try this one here. We're going to delete that note. Click onto the clip that I want to emulate. Right click, shot match this clip, bang. Now, this ideally works best when you have images within a similar environment. So say, for example, I have this Mad Max screenshot here. I'm going to click onto it, right click, shot match this clip, bang. Because we have quite similar colors and quite a similar look it works pretty well if i undo that and i match the, this clip here right click short match this clip this works as well it actually works pretty well and again i can go to the key i can decrease the key output so i can dial in the effect i can color grade after the fact if i wanted to i can make it more refined and we have a very very extremely close match that simple that quickly again this isn't perfect because the visual resolves using its giant brain sometimes it gets things wrong so try and find clips which best match the look and feel that you're going for and also the surroundings because it doesn't work 100 percent of the time but a good portion of the time it does now i know you're thinking what if you wanted to say for example color correct multiple different clips well do the exact same thing select all of the clips that you want to be affected say for example these three clips I want to be affected and I want it to have this look here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all the clips that I want to be affected, then select the click that I want to emulate last. So I'm going to control click the effect I want to emulate last. Then I'm going to right click, go to short match this clip, bang. All of the clips here you can see are matched to the final clip that I want. 
and it's that simple anyway guys if you like this video please share subscribe comment like if you found it useful let me know in the comments below if you're going to use this i'd love to see comments below let me know some of your favorite films yeah i'll see you in the next video